Hey guys, just wanted to respond to some comments from our previous video. I've got Yvette Cruz who says she feels like most of the diamond paintings we have are of women and she'd like to be able to do some sceneries and also some views, dragons, um, more masculine images that would be really cool too. So I'll go on ahead and show you some of the pictures right now flashing on the screen and you can go on ahead and check out the links to those products at the shop. We do have a bunch from uh, John Shannon. They're not necessarily of women. We've got um, images of trees, sceneries, there's one called Into the Storm and it's basically the image of a ship in a storm in the ocean. So there's a bunch of that. Amina Ali also has a bunch of um, scenic landscapes and um, also some galaxy type um, paintings that you can choose from either as paint art by chart or as diamond art so go and check those out um, Angela or Tenzi McCall also has some that are not necessarily of women but are more cultural um, sort of themes so there's a bunch there on the website but I'll go in ahead and give you some examples of the non fantasy women um, featured subjects for diamond paintings um, down in the description below so check that out Yvette. Hopefully you find um, some of those interesting to work on as a project. And then I've got Leanne who says, um, I miss the presents, but I'm glad the kits are now in boxes. It will make it easier to store them until they are worked on. I will reserve judgment on the drill count until I've completed a new kit in this format to see if there is a discernible difference with fewer colors. I'm happy that you were able to move to a place where the kids can be kids. It's been hard on adults, but doubly hard on the children, most definitely. And hey! Wanna say hi? Hi. Yeah, so um, we are here in Boracay, <laughs> giving a thumbs up. And yes, they're definitely a lot happier now. And um, we do appreciate that you guys, you know, uh, have considered that as well as a major factor in our decision to move here. And yes, the boxes were really a big part of the decision we made in basically having it sent straight from our manufacturer. Because as you know, shipping coming from the Philippines is not very cheap. It's actually very, very expensive and we also have been shouldering the customs cost and all the extra additional charges with all the shipment coming out from the Philippines because we wanted you guys <laughs> give me a thumbs up we wanted you guys to be able to get your kits your your projects on time and also securely and this is the reason why we would package them in as small of a parcel as possible to make sure that they cost the least amount of shipping because if even if you send something that's let's say um, this small for example 
this small um, via FedEx or DHL, one of those private courier companies, it still costs a minimum of $25 to $35. And then in response to Hannah Mosher, who was asking about the size uh, options, that we now just have one size option for each painting. Um, this is actually in relation to what another person was also asking. Let me just find that comment. Oh, um, Tiny Worlds of Wonder was saying how she would just like to make sure that the factory has reliable quality assurance. And basically for us to be able to maneuver this transitional period of, of changing how we um, do the quality checks for the kids, it really would be a lot easier to do it to ensure that we guarantee you guys as much as possible quality assured products is if we limit the sizes in the very beginning at the least you know so for now we instead of having three four or five sizes like we've had in the past we now have one size which we highly recommend for the painting that is going to be worked on as a diamond uh, art or as a paint art this way there is more focus that is going to be on making sure there is consistency of, of quality of rendering of quality of the, the beads and of course um, just quality in general um, the more sizes there are as you may know if you have like a ton of options for example in a menu in a restaurant um, sometimes some of those options won't be available sometimes they might not be as good because if you lack the necessary ingredient then you won't be able to make it as as 100% how it normally is done by the chef so that's pretty much like what we're trying to do right now which is making sure that you guys get it in the best quality as possible and that we can ensure that it is the best quality as possible hence the limiting of the size options for the meantime so yeah thank you so much for all the other um, comments that you guys have put in on uh, that video we really do appreciate it um, just to also let you know we do have a winner for the paint art by chart pick that you would want us to work on we ask you to either pick on uh, mermaid sleeping by Victor and or Saint Art uh, Saint and Mermaid's uh, Art Nouveau one, and you guys have chosen da, 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 Saint Anne Mermaid. So we are going to work on this painting next and show you guys what the work in progress looks like from the beginning till the very end. And if I come across any other tips that you guys might find useful, I'll make sure I'll go on ahead and mention that in the video as well. So thanks again for that. Um, if you'd like to see the Hades and Persephone as I talk to you right now. Let me go get it. All right, here is Hades and Persephone. I've already shown a YouTube video on this, the work in progress, day one, day two, day three, and day four. So let me see if I'll be able to finish St. Anne Mermaid's paint art by chart in about four days as well. Well, it all depends how busy the week goes, and I had a lot of time to be able to complete it in less than a week. But yeah, this is Hades and Persephone, so um, I also did like a video where it's just a time lapse from start to finish and gave an excerpt that I just read from uh, Brave New World, which is an article written um, by an author. I credited her in the description below that video, but it basically gives the um, short of short story on the Greek mythology behind um, Hades and also Persephone. Each time she left, Demeter mourned and all vegetation died. And each time Persephone returned, the earth warmed and became fertile once again. This is how the Greeks explained the earth's seasons and how a goddess of life fell in love with the underworld. So, all right. Um, if you guys have any questions, um, jot it down below and we'll go on ahead and respond to that as soon as we can. Once again, thank you so much for um, following us and if you have not yet, subscribe to our YouTube channel and please 
hit that thumbs up button and go ahead and, and hit that uh, bell sign as well so you get notified each time we have new videos posted and um, you'll find out all of the latest promos and whatnot. So anyhow, um, time for me to say goodbye. Hopefully you guys had a great um, 4th of July. In the meantime, ta-da!